we're on the lathe, we got a we got a big piece of aluminum. And not sure what we're doing other than making a cubic piece into a cylinder. There we go. Very nice. Oh, we got the tailstock involved now. We've got a live center on that. And, oh, I guess we want the whole thing to be a cylinder. All right, so yeah, there we go. Okay, what else are we doing here? Are we going to face that off now? Or? Oh, he just measured. I think he's going thinner than the original cylinder now. Yeah, he definitely is. All right. Sneaking up on a dimension, I guess. This is before the... Uh, the DRO. We have a nice DRO now that would normally make this a lot easier. Switching out the cutter. Oh, yeah, okay. He faced it off. Oh, now he made a hole for the live, so we could put a live center in it, probably. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's, uh, he's boring. He's boring out here or something. A hole. I don't know what the heck he's doing here. I don't remember a piece. I don't think he's using that as a drill bit. What cutter is that? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think he's making pulleys. So there's these pulleys. Um, I forget what they're called. It doesn't matter. But it takes a ribbed belt. And that ribbed belt is something you'd normally see on a table saw. When we got our Grizzly table saw, it was a total piece of junk. That thing couldn't cut a, a decent surface no matter what we did to it. As we learned, like over the first month of using it, um... We, we just got to the point where we, we would we would get frustrated so we would do something to it to try to make it better like you know try to align the the uh, saw blade to the to the miter um, try to uh, make the fence try to align the fence to the to the to the saw blade um, I mean we were we didn't know what was going on we just knew we had problems. Um, and eventually we figured out that sometimes it was the wood, um, uh, cause you'd cut a piece of wood and it would actually bend as you were cutting it. So as you, as you separated the wood into two pieces, uh, the remaining two pieces would want to do things that the original piece of wood didn't want to do. So if the stresses were not equal in say that, say you cut a piece of wood down right down the middle, if the internal stresses uh, in, in, present in the grain were opposing each other and you separated them then they would basically curve up um, either away from each other or towards each other or sometimes both in the same direction uh, it was it was weird we we not knowing anything about woodworking we were when we were doing things we we would find these things out um, but one of the the things that I wish we could go back. I mean, I have real regrets about this because it took us almost, I think, nine months before we finally had a solution that we could deal with. Uh, I mean, I wasn't going to spend $500 on a new pulley for a $500 table saw. <laughs> I just I just wasn't going to do that. Um, and so we, we let it go on way too long. That's That's the real problem, right? Of course, going back now, 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 knowing what I know now, the way that we should have started is on day one, we should have bought a track saw and we should have made a bench, right? Um, th that, would, that one step alone, well, two steps, making the bench too, um, would have been 
just enormous uh, to our productivity, uh, to the accuracy, that we would have been able to get so much accuracy that we wanted so desperately, right? Uh, I have no idea what the heck he was doing, sticking that thing in the middle. I, I don't, I don't, I'm baffled at what I'm looking at over here. Um, but trust me, this is going to turn into a pulley. Um, I think he's already made a few. Uh, I think he's making more than one, but we just can't see the ribs well enough from this angle that it's very difficult to know whether or not he's actually finishing them or not. Um, but anyway, track saw. A track saw would have solved so many problems. I can't tell you how many times we would buy a full sheet of something. Yeah, I don't understand what the heck he was, he's doing, point, putting that thing in the middle while it's running. I don't get that. Um, I'm, I'm baffled by that, so I don't know what to tell you on that. But anyway, and he's getting awfully close to the chuck there, too. I wish he wouldn't do that, but he's, uh, I'm pretty sure he's, he's, just trying to sneak up on whether or not the shaft fits. That's what he's doing. Because that's that's the thing he's holding in his hand. That's the shaft off our table saw. That's what that is. So that, that pulley goes there. Um, so yeah, that's what that was about. And yeah, big regrets. Big regrets from, from the very beginning. Of course, at this point, once we made this pulley, everything was so smooth on the saw. Basically, you could cut a piece of wood on the on the table saw and you were done. You were done. It was a better finish than you could give it if you put, you know, um, you know, 400 grit sandpaper. It was beautiful. 